Prime Minister, thank you uh, for doing this. Uh, I want to start with uh, your meeting with the President. Uh, after you left, the White House issued what some call a very sharp rebuke and said, if you go forward with new settlements in East Jerusalem, you risk the condemnation of even your uh, closest allies. Well, first of all, I had a very good meeting with the President, and I was baffled by this uh, statement. Uh, because it doesn't reflect American values. What we're being criticized for is that uh, some uh, Jewish residents of Jerusalem bought apartments legally from Arabs in, uh, in a predominantly Arab neighborhood. And this is seen as a ter terrible thing. You know, Arabs from uh, uh, in East Jerusalem, Palestinians, buy apartments, thousands of them in uh, the Jewish neighborhoods in West Jerusalem. Nobody says you can't do it. If I said to you someplace in the United States, Jews cannot buy apartments here, there'd be an uproar. I don't accept this thing. I mean, Jews can buy uh, private homes in, uh, in uh, Arab neighborhoods. Arabs can buy private homes in Jewish neighborhoods. It's their right. Uh, we don't want to, to accept something else. And, that, and I was absolutely baffled by this. It's against the American values, and it doesn't bode well for peace. Well, the idea that we'd have this ethnic purification as a condition for peace, I think it's anti-peace. I think it works against peace. I don't think it's a, it's a principle that should be condoned. Well, when, be you say you were, when you say you were baffled by it, did the president bring it up in the meeting? or? Uh... He raised a general issue of, uh, of settlements, and I said... Uh, uh, that I think we should address the larger issue, which is not the settlements, but the question of are the Palestinians ready to recognize uh, a nation state for the Jewish people the way we're willing to recognize a nation state for the Palestinian people? Are they finally willing to come to grips with the existence of Israel? And can we create security conditions on the ground? I thought that was the real issue, and it still remains a real issue. So we talked in that level. We did not talk in the specifics of this, uh, this particular uh, Well, uh, as I understand criticism. it, there, there is also a talk that you may be uh, getting ready to build a larger group of settlements. In it's not a settlement. Jerusalem. These are neighborhoods of Jerusalem. I think anybody who visited my office, I think you came to my office, this is three minutes from my office. This is just a neighborhood in Jerusalem. Uh, and uh, in this neighborhood uh, that is now being planned, there are about, I think, 2,400 units. What they didn't tell you is that 700 of those units are designated for the Arab residents of Jerusalem. They need housing. The Jewish residents of Jerusalem need housing. Why shouldn't it be? What is this affront to peace? Why can't Jews and Arabs live together? What is this enforced separation? I think actually this whole line that says that Jews cannot buy apartments in Jerusalem, you know, the capital of the Jewish people for the last 3,000 years since King David, or uh, you cannot have mixed housing projects for uh, Jews and Arabs. I think this is anti-peace. I think condemning it is wrong. And I'm frankly baffled. I, I think it's not the American way.